On this episode of Renovation Nation, I'm going to show you my stenciled bee pot. I have this nice white flower pot. I'm going to add a stencil to it to decorate it. I've chosen this Moroccan lattice. Now, I'm just going to use ink to put the color on it, and I want the color just in the center here. So using a color sponge by Judikins and some permanent ink, I'm using stays on black, I'm just going to sponge my color in there until I get the whole thing done the way I like it to be. Just like this. When we're done, it's all the way around. I think right here, I've got a little black trim and a black trim that I've already put on, but I think I want one right here and I'm gonna use a Sharpie to put that little black trim in. I'm going to put this aside so it can dry and I'm going to do some shrink plastic bees that I can place on my flower pot. I'm going to use this translucent shrink plastic to stamp my bee and I'm using a really large bee and I want to make sure it's fully inked with a permanent ink such as stays on. And there's my bee. So I now have my bee stamp and I need to cut it completely out. So I cut close. That's up to each of you how much you're going to cut it. I've cut out all the legs and the antennas and everything. Now, because I have cut out so much, usually I might would do a heat gun to heat this. I'm going to put it in a toaster oven for about three minutes with a piece of cardboard on it to shrink it. When it first comes out of the oven, I like to bend the wings. But if I've let them get too hard before I bend them, I can take whoops, my heat gun and get it hot so that it will let me bend the wings. And I gotta kind of fold them up, fold them up while it's hot. And this way you have motion just like that. Now, I don't want a white and black bee. I need some yellow in it. So I'm gonna use permanent pens to color it. Yellows, oranges, and maybe a little green. I like putting some of the color on the reverse side, the back side. I'm gonna color with some yellow first. I'm gonna add an orange shadow. Add an orange shadow. And I may have to do this a couple times to get it strong enough. I will turn it over so that I can see if I can see any other color. I can see a little bit of it, but I think I want it a little stronger. So I'm gonna go with a little bit darker yellow. So I'm gonna to continue to color until I get it the color I want. Now I am going to use green on all the legs. And actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of green right here on the wings. Not all the way, just because I want a little bit of a shadow. Now this will stay wet for just slightly a little bit, so you wanna be careful not to put your fingers in it too much. Now, I think on white you could see more of the color, but if you need more color, there's nothing that says you can't go right on the top and add a little bit more. I have these itty bitty magnets and I drop them to make sure they stick. Otherwise, I'm liable to glue the wrong side. So once I've done that, I'm using a Beacon Dazzle Tack glue because it will dry really fast and I need fast. So I just add a little dab 
on my magnets and then I stick my B on there and hold it for just a few seconds. It will dry permanently, I think, in about two hours. But it'll dry pretty fast where it won't be moving. We hope you're enjoying our Renovation Nation series, sponsored by Judykins. Please follow us on social media. Sign up on our website and you'll be eligible to win a prize package full of products from some of our favorite sponsors. And remember, as we always say, when creativity knocks, open the door.